Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Signs here. I hope everybody's well. I'm turning today into Tarot Tuesday, apparently. Um, I have the day off from the bread and butter job as my son has a choir concert tonight. So, taking the day to do my adulting, making appointments, doing a couple things for the bread and butter job from home, but, you know, not really overdoing it. Speaking of which... Hold up. It's from my boss. Hold on. I'm not going to respond to that just yet. I'm just going to set that aside. Gemini, the universe has decided that you are next, so let's just get him thrown down for you before I get another email from my boss. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, Archangels, thank you for being with me this morning. Please give me the clarity of mind and the peace of heart to bring Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to their highest good and give them the messages that they need to receive. Thank you again for the blessings you have bestowed upon me and help me pass those blessings on to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. One to show, one to go. Co-create. Very nice. I didn't see it. I don't know if the camera saw it, but I didn't see it, and that's what counts, so. Co-create to number 40. I hear birds outside. Sorry. Sorry, I'm kind of like a, a, a squirrel with shiny mirrors sometimes. We had a little bit of nasty weather last night, so hearing the birds singing is actually kind of refreshing. Okay, co-create. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. Your spark of the intelligence. You're, uh, you're the spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality, blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. All right, Gemini, let's get it going. Pick a deck. I'm feeling the everyday witch. Why not? It's split at death and the page of swords. Hmm. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. Fire, earth, air, water, speak truth. One. Two. One more. Three. Conversation. Could lead to a good old death cycle. All right, talk to me. 
Talk to me for Gemini. Fire, Earth, Air, Water, Speak Truth for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little much. Death. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups. Eight of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. death. If I get quiet, it's because I'm thinking. I'm reading and studying. The cards tell a story. The cards tell a story. I'm hearing something didn't have to end painfully. There was a death and rebirth here at the beginning. Why is death here? The world. Duh. Duh. Something came to an end, so something new could begin. One more. The Fool. Okay, fine, fine, fine. New beginning. Something ended, so something new could begin. A new journey. Why is the Six of Wands here? In the beginning, in the beginning, that's a whole lot of cards, but we're going to take them. Justice, eight wands, two swords, oh, okay, well, Something moved fast. <sighs> One more. Justice showed up. Could be a Libra. Five cups reversed. Okay. You weren't over something.
You weren't over something. It was beautiful. It was victorious. There was lots of communication. Things moving quickly. Possibly too quickly. A sword of justice came in, had balanced things out. Something was out of balance. She weren't over something. A difficult choice was made. Somebody walked away. Five, six pentacles reversed here. Seven pentacles. So I needed time. You had to regain your balance. You needed time. You had to let something go. You weren't over something. Something got started, but you weren't over something. Something painful never really came to an end. And I feel like it was within you. One more. King of Cups. Oh, you have so much emotion for this. Such deep feelings and such deep... You couldn't express it. You needed time. You had to let something go or someone had to let you go. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Okay. Somebody's getting a cup. Night of cups, night of cups. Somebody's going to rush at you with a cup. You're going to rush at somebody with a cup. Four wands, balance, celebration. Timing being right, things being balanced, things being equal. The magician in reverse. But, but, mm, I don't like that. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Hmm. Why is Eight Swords reversed here? Might be a little bit of a conflict. You might not take your cup if you're the one rushing in with a cup. Planning on rushing in with a cup. Somebody's rushing into, rushing to you. You're not going to take their cup. Somebody's already moved on here. This is going to cause a conflict. Somebody came out of their head. Somebody's guard's going to be up. Ace of Swords reversed to the bottom of the deck. Something hasn't ended, so something can't begin. 
Oh, good grief. I'm not pulling a card salad off of this. I'm being told to stop at strength. You have to overcome something here. You gotta come back into balance and choose the correct path. As long as you stay consumed by your own thoughts and anxieties, you can't move forward. Resurrection is possible, but something new can't begin until something old ends. It can't manifest until you find peace within yourself. Be a joyous coming together to choose which path you're going to take. Hierophant. It's a mighty sword. I like this Hierophant. This is a life lesson card. Coming to a place of inner peace. Whatever path you choose to take will bring things back into balance. can't lose patience. Ten cups. Gonna get a happy ending, but it's gonna be a long road. Things need to be clear. There needs to be an illumination here. Wow, Gemini. Mind blown. Mind blown. To come to terms with why something ended or didn't end. Something new can't begin until something old ends. It has to end within you. Why? Number 31. You have blown my mind. <clears throat> Motives driving intention, the power of knowing why. There's a great power in understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something feel it and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed which brings it to life and holds it the potential for growth.
Wow. Okay, Gemini, I know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming down. And I'll catch you next time.